Welcome to Walk From Home. Yes, I'm back. They've given me another go. We're in lockdown, but we're gonna cook some great food for you. Claire's back on the camera because she's fantastic and she makes me look good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a yes I katsu curry, but I'm not gonna be doing it on my own. We're reaching out to the community. I'm going to be cooking with Ella from Sheffield, a student who's gonna cook along with me to show you how good and how easy this is to do. Hot katsu, you're gonna love it. Right. Ingredients time. But first, let's say hello to Ella up in Sheffield. Ella, how are you? Hi, Steve. I'm good. I'm so excited to make this dish. I absolutely love it. Brilliant. And you're vegetarian? Yes, I am. So lucky we're doing the yes I katsu, but we're doing the hot version. Right, we're going to have a look at some ingredients now. So we've got some beautiful aubergines and sweet potatoes for a yes I katsu. We've got a panko. We've got our rice. We've got our beautiful leaves. Look how fresh they are. Pickles, and then last but not least, this is the ingredients we're gonna need for our hot katsu. We've got chili flakes, we've got chili oil, we've got Tabasco, we've got sriracha. First things first, we're gonna make the katsu sauce so we can let that sit and all those flavors melt into one. Ella, we're gonna start with our sauce first, okay? So you need your onion, you need your garlic, you need your ginger. Let's start chopping. Right, we're gonna do a bit of ginger and a bit of garlic now. Peel your ginger. This might sound stupid, but how do I peel ginger? <laughs> Try a teaspoon, it's very quick and easy, and it should just take the skin straight off. Ah, oh, that's working wonderfully. And then all we're gonna do, run our blade through it. It can be quite rough again, because we're just cooking it to get all that fantastic warmth and flavor of the ginger. Ella's chopped, I've chopped. Ella, I'm doing enough for two, so whatever I do, if you double it up, you should get four. So you've got four in your bottle, yeah? Yep, me and my three roommates. Excellent, okay, so next step, we're gonna make the katsu sauce. We've got our onion chopped, we've got our ginger, our garlic, mild curry powder, turmeric, bit of flour, stock, coconut milk. So in our pan, let's get a big old glug of oil. So for you lovely people at home, what we're doing now is we're sweating the onion, ginger and garlic off. We're trying to get all that flavour come out. Oh, you can smell the ginger, smell the garlic. And just working that through, just softening it down. Not lots of colour on it, doesn't need lots of colour. We're now going to put our curry powder in. Ella's got her tablespoon, I've got my tablespoon. Let's get our curry powder in. I'm going to put a little bit extra in because I do love it. And as you can see, it starts to cook. We can turn the heat down slightly. We don't want it to be too aggressive. And just go. Oh. And you smell that fantastic curry powder. All the cumin in there coming out. Beautiful. Now, one teaspoon of turmeric. And that's our spices. I'm actually going to a little bit more. And then what we're going to do. We're gonna turn it down to a medium heat again. Make sure it's not too high and just let it sit there and bubble and let all those flavors melt into each other to make that fantastic curry sauce. Right, so here we go. Ella, how are you doing? You okay? Keep it up. Keep it up, well done. You're doing a cracking job. So now we need our flour. We're gonna put in a big old tablespoon of plain flour. and the flour is going to act like a roux. So this is what is going to give our sauce the thickness. So we need to make sure this all cooks out and we cook the flour out. So again, it's going to take a couple of minutes while that all cooks together. Um, is it supposed to be very dry at this point? Yes, it is. Because what you're doing, this is going to be the basis of when we add the stock, it will start to form a sauce, but a quite a nice thick sauce. Then as we add our beautiful, creamy coconut that then knocks it down a little bit further so you've got a really good double cream consistency so our paste is beautifully cooked down all that fantastic flavors coming through as your pan's starting to warm up and you've got all that in there you start adding the stock little by little 
I'm just stirring it in. So we might need to turn the heat up slightly. And as you can see at home, it's starting to form the magic that is katsu sauce. Now for that amazing coconut milk. Oh, as if by magic. It's got that beautiful double cream consistency, but now we need to just let it cook out. Right, Ella, how are you doing? How's your sauce? Getting nice and creamy. Katsu heaven. So, let's let our sauce cook out a bit. We're gonna give it another five minutes, then we're gonna season it. Now for our hot katsu mix, which will make this sauce even better. So in a warm pan, we're gonna put in some chili oil. Chili oil warming up, beautiful heat to it. Now we're gonna fry off some of our chili flakes. Now we've gotta be careful because this stuff, once it starts, your eyes will be watering, so maybe don't get too close to the pan. We're now gonna add some sriracha, but I'm gonna take the lid off because it's easier. So let's put some sriracha. So Ella, how you doing? Have you made your hot katsu paste? Oh, fantastic. Look at that, that looks perfect. Can you smell that chili and feel that heat coming off it? Oh yeah. Let's hope your bubble likes hot food. So let's get onto our yes I katsu, cutting our sweet potato and our aubergine ready for that beautiful panko breadcrumbs. <laughs> otherwise known flour, egg and breadcrumb. We are now going to panne our aubergine and our sweet potato. Ella, have you got all your stuff ready? Yeah, ready. Right, so what we do is we start with the aubergine. That's that one. First, a little bit of flour. Just coat it in flour, make sure it's all coated. Now, what you're gonna see is this hand, it's another good tip, this one, this hand will not go in the egg. This hand will. So let's get that all coated in our egg. And then once we know it's all coated, we drop it in our breadcrumbs. Using other hand, we then start to cover our aubergine. Now, if you're vegan or vegetarian and you can't have eggs, mix a little bit of water into your flour which will make a slurry, which is like um, a single cream, almost consistency. You push your vegetables through that, then you put them in the panko, so you just leave the egg out. Now for the sweet potato. So we're gonna just speed this up a little bit. So Ella, how you doing? I'm covered in egg. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you're not going to deep fry your fingers. Try and keep it on the vegetables. That looks good. It's coming together well. That's a good bit of breadcrumb in that. There we go. Hot water on. We strained our rice that we soaked for about half an hour. Water's boiling away, and we put our rice in and let that simmer for about 10 minutes. But have a check on it now and again, but we're not going to stir it. We're literally going to let it soak up all that water, become lovely and sticky, ready to use. Right, katsu strained, you don't have to. I've strained mine, because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to season it. So, I've got to say, it's fantastic as it is. But hey, I better add a little bit of seasoning. So we're going to add a bit of soy, depth of flavour in that soy. We'll give it that lovely saltiness that we need. Ella, have you got a nice deep pan ready and some vegetable oil? Can I use my wok? You can use your wok because funny enough, I'm using my wok at home. Oh, 
Oh, that looks good, Ella. Well done. Now they've been in probably about three to five minutes, if not about six, maybe. But depending how thick you cut these vegetables, will depend on how long it takes them to cook. Right, Chef Bill, are we ready to go? This is my first try at it. Ella, you've now got to show me up in Sheffield how good you are. Ella, really well done. Absolutely, genuinely, that was really, really good. You have absolutely smashed it. While Ella finishes plating up all her food that she's cooked amazingly today, we're gonna to send her some sides to actually have a really good slap up meal. Look, at Wagamama, it's all about the giving. And if you wanna be part of this community and you wanna cook with me, get in touch. Stay safe, stay well, see you soon. Thank you, Steve and Wagamamas, it was a lot of fun. Yay!